Hey everyone, the absolute master of consistency here. So it's been quite a while since my last upload, so I'm guessing I'll be talking mostly to new people. So hello, nice to meet you. Today I wanted to talk about improving your art skills quickly, but I get it, you might be like, hold on, who, who's, who's this guy that hasn't uploaded in like eight months, comes out of nowhere, tells me how to improve my art. Did he even draw anything in, in, in the eight months that he didn't upload for? Well, yeah, I did, I did, I drew a lot. And I would say that I did improve a lot as well. Now, if anyone has seen me before, I will explain what I was up to at the end of the video. For now, let's get into these five tips that I would give to maybe beginner artists uh, aiming to improve a bit more, a bit quicker. And of course, number five is what helped me the most. Please don't skip to it. Uh, the other ones help a lot too, I promise. I, I need the watch time. So if you're struggling to maybe see consistent improvement in your drawings, then this video should be helpful to you. I also do have a special announcement to make at the end, so please make sure to stay tuned for that one as well. So basically I put the most obvious one on the first point. You definitely shouldn't neglect it though. It's definitely one of the best things to do to improve quickly. It's pretty much a fact that you will lose a bit of skill over time if you don't draw at all. By all means, of course, take breaks if you need them, but a long break is definitely going to set you back a few steps. If you don't have time, just even, you know, just like a five minute slot every day, even that'll do. So yeah, keep the first point short. So basically, even if it's just for a little while, it really, really helps to, you know, keep a consistent schedule. <laughs> I'm, I'm one to talk, sorry. Hey, but listen, I, I, had, I had reasons, all right? So now if you want to be consistent with the results, you will need to at least dabble into the fundamentals. By that, I mean anatomy, perspective, etc. right? This is hands down the best way to not be frustrated with your art. You know, I've been there, you know, poking at an art piece for hours on end, but still you're unable to draw anything right. I'm sure many people would have experienced that feeling. Very frustrating. If you put the work in now, the knowledge will help you for your entire art journey. So it will be very, very useful to do. A tip that I do give to people that maybe don't enjoy learning anatomy or perspective or figure drawing, gesture drawing. One tip that I do have that helped me is to incorporate what you do enjoy into those studies. So for example, you could try drawing what you usually draw, but with better anatomy, right? or you could fix your past drawings to have better anatomy. And since you're working on something that you do enjoy, it'll make the learning process a bit easier as well. So that's something that helped me, uh, something to definitely consider, but that alone isn't enough, okay? Try to always be on the lookout for sources of inspiration or improvement. This I've mentioned this in another video as well. For example, let's say you're watching some anime. Try to see how they drew that eye from that angle or, or how they drew that arm from that angle. And if you keep doing this, it will eventually become second nature. It has become second nature for me. Somet <laughs> sometimes it's a bit annoying because I can barely watch anime now without thinking, oh, oh can I, can I? Can I draw the eye like that next time I draw? Or can I try that pose the next time I draw? Take some screenshots if you have to and use these to practice during the next time you draw. And of course, it doesn't even have to be from anime. It could be from pictures that you see or it can be from real life. You get the point, right? Try to be attentive when you're watching or seeing things that you want to draw like. Oh man, YouTube videos, they've helped insanely with my progress over the years. Let's not even get into how insanely accessible information is nowadays. You know, with countless people making tutorials like this over YouTube, imagine how like how much harder it would have been to learn, not, not even just art, right? Just anything, just 10 years ago. Hold on, 10 years ago is only 2014. I guess I'm definitely reaching unk status now. Ugh. But don't be afraid to take online classes either. So that's one thing. There's a lot of courses online by, by actual professional illustrators in the industry. I've tried some of them myself as well. I know they cost quite a bit of money, but how different is that from, let's say, paying for a cooking class or, or a hobby that you enjoy? It's something that you enjoy and something that you want to improve in. 
So why not, right? And if you want to be a pro one day, well then that's even more of a reason. So these courses have helped me a lot as well, of course, but YouTube videos, you know, if you can't afford the courses maybe, then they, they do the job for sure. Now, the absolute most important thing that helped me improve quickly was to always, always challenge myself by drawing things that I'm not used to. We've all drawn that same three quarters angle over and over again, right? And I'm sure many of you are quite good at it too. And here's an analogy that I thought of. If you only lift weights that you're comfortable with, then your muscles have no reason to grow. Try harder angles, try harder poses, try hard poses from hard angles and improve one little thing piece by piece. And even if you fail, you still got practice into uncharted territory, right? So now all that's left is, you know, practice and tutorials if you need them. Always challenge yourself, guys. This is one thing that I cannot say enough when you're trying to improve. Always challenge yourself. Always do it. Alright, so the moral of the story is that, well, you have to draw. There's no going around that. There's, no matter how many videos or, or courses you watch, if you don't consistently draw and challenge yourself, well, it'll be hard to improve quickly. But if you enjoy it and truly want to get better, following these steps should definitely help you speed it up a little bit. Now, that's it for the video, but hold on, don't go yet. I have the special announcement coming in and, well, of course, if anyone does remember me from eight months ago, hold on, let me check how long it actually has been. Yep, eight months, it's been eight months. <laughs> if anyone does remember me, I haven't uploaded in a while because of many different things. I, you know, I was busy, uh, I'm a university student. I had quite a lot to do in that period. It was the start of a new semester and stuff like that. But also I have been working on another project of mine. So I have created my own comic series. It's called Devil's Paradise. It's uploaded on Manga Plus Creators. The link will be in the description. Uh, no pressure to check it out, of course, but I am planning to continue it. It's a, it's a story that I've wanted to tell for a long time. It's a, it's a passion project. So yeah, please check it out if you think you'll be into it. And I didn't come back to YouTube just to promote that. I promise I did uh, eventually plan on returning anyway it's just that I have more time now I've I've uploaded the first chapter and it's currently the mid semester holidays so yeah I'm planning many more videos after this as well so yeah I'm back and you know as I've ever as I've said earlier I am approaching unk status possibly even already unk status you can you can guess my age in the comments if you want I guess I wanted to not regret not taking this YouTube thing further I always wanted to dabble into it so yeah and I, and I still do so yeah that's that's why I'm back that's why I've been away I'm sure if I get any viewers now it'll be mostly new people so uh, welcome to my channel I'm sure you can guess that I am a art uh, focused channel I'll be trying to post weekly or at least bi-weekly mostly tutorials maybe some fun challenges, art challenges here and there, stuff like that. I've also made a video about finding art styles if you're interested. It should be on the screen now if you want to check it out. Of course it is from nine months ago. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Please give it a like if this helped. It would be amazing if even just one person takes something good away from this and a subscription would of course be appreciated. Thank you.